We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bruins have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Broke away from one. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. So you've got a guy who's not only liable to beat you with his arm, but with his legs, too. That is a tough quarterback to stop. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. He scrambled, and they got it. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. He's taken down at the 15-yard line. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 15. That's what, I, that's what I do. Cut. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's out to the 30. And he's finally shoved out the 40. So they get the first down on the quarterback scramble. This guy just showed what makes him a great dual threat quarterback. Down he goes at about the 43-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He makes his way to about the 48. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 27. That's good for gaining three yards. That makes it second and six. Caught, open field. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. Guns it in there. Touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. Yeah. 
And he converts the extra point. It was an eight-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Washington's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Got an opening. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 40. Zips it to the back. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Six yards setback. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Third down now. They need to get it out to midfield. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He wants it all. They knock it down, incomplete. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see, his kids reacting when the ball's in the air and then making the play. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 20. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Washington is up seven. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 46. Has some daylight. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. It's second and goal. Ball on the 12. the tailback he makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line a two yard run by the halfback and there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play zips it to his receiver touchdown Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. That brings up second and five. Got it to the senior. Tackle at the 45-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 42-yard line, second down. And we've reached the end of one. 14 nothing, Husky. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Set. Blue 19. Cut. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Down. Got his man. Can't tack on in the yardage. It'll be short of the first after the completion. A good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. This one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back Sam, in it. Sam, 10, motion, 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 motion. And he hits him hard at the 17-yard line. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. That, that brings, brings up second, second and 13. 13. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Set, cut. Now he's scrambling. Cavalry's coming. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 35. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at about the 49. Loss of two by the halfback. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 49. And he snags that one. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. Makes it out to about the 30. Mike 35. Mike 35. Mike 35. Hey, watch the ball. Watch the ball. Hey. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. Lost a two on the play. 
third down. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. Hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Makes it out to about the 43. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He's got it out to his tight end, and he's taken down at the 50-yard line. Seven yards. That makes it second and two. They bring him down in the backfield. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. And a quick throw. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Washington's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. With the pass incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. That makes it second and ten. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40, and down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. Just throws this one away. From the 38-yard line, second down. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. He's hit and taken down. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. 
This one has gotten out of hand. Usually we don't see games get real ugly until the second half, when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. But man, we're still here in the first half, and it's already looking like a blowout. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 79-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 28-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. UCLA's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. He's to the 40, and he got it to the sophomore. They'll bring him down at the 45. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Roger, Roger. Washington looking to put this game away if they score here. Down. Blue 42. Blue 42. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. Touchdown, UCLA! Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. And he converts the extra point. Well, we've played a half of football. The Huskies with a three touchdown advantage. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This margin at halftime is not at all what we expected to see between two evenly matched teams. This game's gotten a ton of attention leading up to it. How easy is it, David, for a team to kind of get let down after getting all of that attention after a first half? Well, I, I kept hearing Reese Davis and Kirk Herbstreit and, and Nestler talk all week about how this game was going to be so good. And, and now... Now I'm in this game and I'm getting kicked around and I got no response for it. So I think once you're told that you belong on this stage and you've been told that your team is great, you got to prove it. And if you don't step up and prove it, now you're down three scores at the half. I mean, 
you won't be favored in many games, and there won't be many guys on TV talking about how good you are and how evenly matched, because right now, you're outclassed. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He makes his way to about the 38. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 45. run there as they work the outside. and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Here's the eighth play of the series. situations a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground it's a good job by the defense to shut that down so the kicking team is on the field they'll try for three the kick is up and it's good like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He scrambled. Brought down at the 33-yard line. Zips it to the back. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Check, 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 check. 
incomplete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields a punt at the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. He's under pressure, and he's level at the 22. Loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll make, make it, it second, second and long. long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got a man, watch out here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35 yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Looks to him again, complete. And he tackles him hard at the 46 yard line. immediately tackled. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's hit immediately. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. Open field. Tackle made at the 17. That's good for a game of eight yards. That's good enough for another Washington. Five wide. They go back to him on a quick throw. Pickup of five. It's a nice pickup here, although I'm sure they'd love to get their receivers into a little bit more open space downfield. Second down and five. Ball on the 12-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. That brings up a second and goal. One yard to the goal line. They're packed in tight on the line. Down! 10 9 Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That makes it third and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. I'm coming after you, 25. I'm coming after you, 25. Set! And he's taken down at the one. And he gets a yard on the run. That brings us fourth and goal. So from a yard out, the offense is going to try to stay on the field here on fourth down and goal. Set. Ten Boston. Ten Boston. Got him over the middle. Touchdown. The tight end does a nice job coming down with that touchdown catch. He certainly did, Brad. This guy's a big-time threat inside the 10-yard line because of his size. He can outmuscle defensive backs for the ball. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up 
and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Bruins are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. Now he's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. Lost a few yards on the ball. So at the end of three, the Huskies lead 38-7. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. They'll spread the field with five wide. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. We've got third and 12. All on their own 23. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Taken down at the 35. They come out in a five wide set. He's got it out to his tight end. And down he goes around the 42 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Down, Oklahoma! He's on the run. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 40. That's a good. Man left, man left. That makes it first and 10. Set, check, right line. Blue 19. Blue 19. Hands it off. He gets to about the 31 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he throws it away. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Here he goes. And he hits him hard at the 19-yard line. Inside the 10. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. Nobody picked up the running back on that option play. The defense is so concerned about the quarterback's ability to create that they left the halfback all alone. And once he took the pitch, there wasn't anything between him and the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. At the 44-yard line, Washington's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. From the 34-yard line, first down. He's got it with room to run. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal.
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He makes it to the nine. Call it a game of one yard. That brings him second and goal. Offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense Down. anticipating pass Oklahoma. here. Oklahoma. Come on, guys. They get on the board again. Touchdown. He hits the PAT. A four play, 45 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell, scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Just under three to go in regulation. Flight 87. Run, 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 run. That makes it second and ten. Mike 10, Mike 10. Down. Strings it out left, and he stopped right away. Caught with room to work. That makes it first and ten. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That's a gain of four. That makes it second and six. Like ten, like ten. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 34. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Cut. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And he's tackled at the 11-yard line. Got a man in and out of his hands. And this play is number eight on the drive. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he just gets rid of it. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards Still to pick up down. for the first down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. They've got Mike Tien right here, guys. Mike Tien. Set. Oh, check, check. Let's go, hey. Texas. Cut. Pass, pass, pass. He's out of bounds at the two. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Run, 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 run. Not 
I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. So a little bit of deception on the four wideout formation leads to six points. And he adds the extra point. I'm sure Reese is having fun giving updates from this game to our other games going on today. We've had back to back to back to back scores. The offense is coming out on the field and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 39-yard line. Under a minute left. Down! Oklahoma! And the halfback's got nowhere to go. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. UCLA's staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.